this is a JSP expression. The code within a JSP expression is taken into the auto-generated servlet in the background and is passed over to out.println call. Let's take a look at the auto-generated code. Well, we should first go to the work folder. Here we can find Catalina, localhost, and examples. After all, um, the JSP is executed as part of the examples web application. Here we can find org, Apache, JSP, and here is the expression demo underscore JSP source code. This is the auto-generated servlet that is executed on behalf of uh, this specific JSP document. If we go over the code, we can find the underscore JSP service method. This is the equivalent method to the service method we know from developing our own servlet. And here we can find the code we have in our scriptlet copied as is. This is the scriptlet and here it is. And then code which is outside of the scriptlet is placed um, over here. It is actually passed over to the write method invoked on the um, print writer object out all its reference. And then we can find the expression, the code, in our expression copied and passed over to a call to the print method on the same print writer object in use. So, bottom line, when we want to um, return back to the browser a, an equivalent string for a specific expression, we shall place the expression within and this two signs. This is the syntax for creating an expression and whatever we put here is actually passed over to the print method meaning that underneath we can expect that if we for example create an expression and specify a variable that holds a reference for an object the outcome would be eventually um, the outcome received from calling the toString method.